see when she took the mask away i actually started to shiver uh, even even i'm shivering right at this particular point of time knowing that after 3 4 months or maybe a year she'll be no more it becomes not only your dream it becomes the dream of your parents i really do not want any of you to get distracted in between to feel saturated in between focus on your goal respect your parents see the mother who is suffering from the cancer and knowing that she will be no more after three four months she is coming to me and saying that i just want one thing i want my son to be a doctor that's all hey guys good evening and welcome back again to your an academy neat english channel i hope all of you doing great my dear students an unexpected event took place yesterday with me something which i never had thought of so before going into the incident i'm actually shivering even to reveal this so before revealing this incident to you my dear students let me just quickly tell you back in 2006 when i was in 6th standard i had a teacher basically like one of my favorite teachers and even i was one of her favorite students as well why i was her favorite student because you know during the school time the only criteria for a student to become teacher's favorite is when the student completes the homework on time becomes punk uh, i mean if he or she is the punctual punctual guy or girl in class right that is the criteria so those were the things which i used to fulfill basically so that is the point my teacher she used to like me a lot right she used to treat me like a son so dear students it was 2006 when i saw my teacher for the last time right but then last year when i was in my offline center taking class suddenly i got a call from one of the coordinators that there is one there is a woman basically right she claims to be your teacher she wants to meet you yeah so i went out of the class i saw her and like it was the happiest moment for me to see her after like 20 years almost like 17 years and the point of her coming to the offline center was it was her son basically right so she he had entered into class 11th and she wanted to enroll her son into the offline center in which i am teaching chemistry so she started talking about her son that she wants him to become the doctor and stuff like all what all the parents expect and he's actually a good student basically right uh, he studies well he's punctual he's hard working right and every student right all the parameters which are required for the neat examination to be qualified he is fulfilling all the parameters now dear students till last year everything was okay she used to i mean my teacher she used to call me at times like how is his performance and all like everything was perfectly fine yesterday when i was going to the center i was just parking my car and i saw a woman wearing the mask i could not recognize who she was i got out of the car and got into my office took one class and i came back to my office to my room where i usually sit so again a coordinator is coming to me and saying there's a woman she wants to meet and she again claims to be your teacher i got it like it would be that same ma'am right she would want to meet me basically so i told the coordinator to get her inside right she got into my room and my dear students when she entered into the room she was wearing a mask i could not recognize her like her eyes they were like full of tears what she exactly did she took the mask away and when she took the mask away her half of half the face from hair till hair it was not there including the eye 
and half of the face was cut it seems she had a surgery and the doctors had told that you have to we have to take away the half of your face see when she took the mask away i actually started to shiver uh, even even i'm shivering right now i could not recognize her and she started crying and she's like i'm your ma'am i got up from the i got up like i didn't know what to do like what to say eventually i said ma'am like what happened what is it she started crying and she told me that two months back she was she got diagnosed with the cancer and the doctors had no option other than to take the half of the face out like i really did not know like i i i i did not know like what to do at that point of time i was shivering like my eyes actually they were full of tears and i started to cry as well at that time so i went to her i just hugged her and i started to console i started to console her i thought the reason why she came to me it would have been because she wanted some financial help or something i started to she did not ask for it but i thought it would be it would be the same reason that's why she she's here so i started telling her that i'll send you to like the best cancer hospital this that you need not to worry i'll take care of the expenses and all but she was like no i have not come here for that the doctors have told me it is the last stage and i mean you cannot survive for more than 3 months so my dear students when a mother at this particular point of time knowing that after 3 4 months or maybe a year she'll be no more like what do you expect from a mother i was expecting that she would ask for some help or something but no she did not ask for it she's like wasim i do not want it i have come here for one simple reason that is my son i want you to take the responsibility of my son and i want my son to become a doctor that's all what i want i do not want anything else and my dear students when she told that ki i do not want anything else i just want my son to be a doctor so take care of him like whatever is required just fulfill everything just be with him when i'll i'll not be there you have no idea like what kind of feeling it was again i started to console as like you need not to worry everything will be taken care of and you will be fine also right the point is not that the point is a mother knowing that after 3 4 months like i cannot say it also she won't be there and still she is coming for her son basically right she want her son to be a doctor now you can imagine my dear students the love and affection from the parents which we get the kind of sacrifices which our parents do to bro- to i mean to take care of us like i don't think no other person can ever do that be it your brother sister your husband wife i i do not think so so why i wanted to reveal this with you why i wanted to share this story with you which just happened yesterday the point is my dear students when you enter into class 11th right you are the ones who keep on telling your parents that we want to become the doctors right you are the ones who tell them actually majority of the students right they tell their parents that we want to pursue the medical profession due to that it becomes not only your dream it becomes the dream of your parents and when you start to chase that dream in between you get demotivated saturated you get distracted right and when you get distracted imagine what your parents feel at that time 
see the mother who is suffering from the cancer and knowing that she will be no more after 3 or 4 months she is coming to me and saying that i just want one thing i want my son to be a doctor that's all so dear students i just have one request to all the need aspirants je aspirants whatever examination you are preparing for the the dream which you started to chase the dream which your parents started to chase with you because of you i really do not want any of you to get distracted in between to feel saturated in between right because it's not only your dream now it's a dream of your parents and imagine that imagine that someone who actually loves you right who wants to pursue their dream through you imagine when you get distracted in between how they would be feeling at that particular point of time so i hope you got what i wanted to convey right so please and please focus on your goal respect your parents right give your best shot my dear students perfect and the result that is the consequence basically right the results are actually the consequences so just give your best shot do not keep any stone unturned if not for you at least for your parents who actually love you like anything okay so please and please chase your dream keep this particular thing as the motivation all the time that you have to make your name of the parents you have to make the name of your parents proud right after 1 2 years they should say that he is my son she is my daughter this i think there can be no other big motivation than this to qualify this particular examination right i hope you got it take care god bless you all and love you all bye